Hi there, Taurus. This is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus. This one doesn't resonate so much. Go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. So this is kind of a mess. Um, I'm just going to flag that up front. We have the Knight of Swords here, Gemini energy predominantly, but also Libra, also Aquarius. Sometimes the court cards are aspects of personality and the Knight of Swords would be someone who's kind of, they don't have a plan. They're kind of running in and out. Um, it's someone who's highly reactive. So we've got that coupled with the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy. Emperor is in the upright, it's someone who's bringing order to chaos. It's the dad, the husband, uh, masculine energy, a stereotypical masculine energy, someone who is looking to kind of put things in order. In the reverse, it's someone who's either a control freak, and I'm not getting that vibe as much as someone who's a hot mess. We've got the four of swords in reverse. So you might be on a break from this person, or you may have pulled your energy back or vice versa, since this is the shared energy. Four of Swords is usually like, I need a minute here to kind of catch my breath. In the reverse, it's someone who's really restless. And then we've got the Six of Swords in reverse. So Six of Swords can be either like moving into calmer waters with someone, like you figured things out, things are more relaxed, they're kind of even between the two of you. And in the reverse, it's a sense of chaos. It's like being on, you know, a boat in the middle of the ocean when there's a hurricane coming. And I'm getting more like restless hurricane vibes here from this situation. All right, let's take a closer look at your person. Okay, we've got the page of swords, more swords energy or more air energy here. Again, with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Page of swords also means like I'm curious about you. I'm wondering what you're up to. I'm doing a lot of thinking about you. I don't know, maybe they're skulking in your bushes looking in their, your windows. That could totally be true too. Um, this is the Modern Witch Tarot. I'm about to use the Zodiac Tarot to clarify. At the end, I'll pull cards for how this person feels about you, as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say here. But yeah, this person's seriously... I don't know. They're, they're kind of all over the place. So what is up? Mm, okay. We've got the Seven of Cups. That is confusion, illusions, delusions. Oh, okay, hold on. All right, we've got the Nine of Swords showing up with that. Let me arrange all these and let's have a talk. Mm, okay, Nine of Swords, you see how she's sitting up in bed? This is the card for... I'm I'm ruminating late at night. I can't get to sleep. I can't think. I can't eat. I can't sleep. Um, I have these intrusive thoughts. You're on their mind quite a bit. Seven of Cups. In that light, like in this light, it could be they're fantasizing about you. You can see like the clouds around that. This is a very tricky card. It can mean something like someone has options and they can't choose. It can mean like you're visioning for the future. It can mean like you literally can't make a decision. And sometimes it's about like fantasizing and not thinking clearly. This is also um, the card of like having a few drinky drinks and having an altered consciousness if you catch my drift. This is YouTube. Do not monetize. Demonetize me. All right. Let's do some more cards here. Mm, we've got the fool in reverse. That is Aries energy. So someone could be dealing with an Aries here, or one of you has Aries in your chart. A fool in reverse is feeling foolish. I think they're kind of shook. So I don't know. Like, you could be on again, off again with this person, or they're, like, super squirrely. Like, they're in your face, and then they kind of run away, and then they're doing all this thinking about you. I don't know. You'll have to let me know what's going on because it's kind of a mess. And that's just the word that keeps on popping in mind. This is messy. 
We've got the Eight of Swords, self-limiting behavior, self-sabotage. This can also mean someone who is stuck to you like glue. And I think they're kind of stuck on you. And maybe they wish they wouldn't. Or maybe they just feel kind of like an idiot. All right. Let me arrange these. We'll do one more and then I want to clarify. So what the heck is going on here? What is up? Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles can be someone who's wishy-washy. Again, it's more of like I'm all over the place. Sometimes that's a card about like I keep busy. Um, I've got a lot of balls in the air. I do a lot of juggling. And just maybe this person's a little bit wishy-washy. And they just can't get themselves together. All right, let's clarify it. They're shooketh. So what is this person doing? Okay. All right, we've got the King of Cups. That is Pisces energy predominantly, but it can also be Cancer. It can also be Scorpio. I would say that they've got feelings for you. They may or may not have water in their chart. And the bam, there you are. That's a Capricorn card, but it can also be Taurus and Virgo. Knowing your worth, knowing your value, you're showing up in your element here. Again, this person has got you on the brain. They're fixated here. Let's do one more, and then we're going to do how they feel, as well as something that they're thinking or that they need to say. Got the Five of Cups. That is regrets about the past. Um, maybe they're regretting their missteps. Maybe they say, like, the wrong thing. This could even be someone who is, like, waiting around for you. Maybe you're with in another relationship and they're, like, quite frankly, this gives me, like, waiting in the wings. I don't want to use the term stalker. It's a would-be suitor. It's an interested party. This could even be an online thing with that page of swords. All right. Let's do feelings. Let's do something that they're thinking. Okay. So what about the feelings here? What are this person's feels? Maybe we're afraid to ask. Please don't be weird. Please don't be weird. What about the feelings? Okay. Six of Wands. Let's talk about that. So the Six of Wands is like, I want you to notice me. I want I want you to see me. Um, I, I want your attention. I want to win you over. For some of you, since this is a reading for the collective, for some of you, it's like this person can't get up the courage to talk to you. Mm, okay, we have I replay our conversations over and over. Again, they're they're thinking quite a lot about you. You figure predominantly in their thoughts. I wish I could take back my words. Maybe they said a stupid thing. I think we all have at one point. I'm so attracted to you. I think this person. I do think they're all over the place, and I don't think they, I don't think that they approach this relationship in maybe the way that they should, so they kind of like maybe blow this up, or they blow their chance, or it's like things go really well, and then all of a sudden they run away from you. It's, again, it's a hot mess with this person, but there's interest here. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, click the join button. We're going to do feelings, intentions, the advice, the unknown. And if you'd like to order your own private reading, you can find that in the description box. All right. Blessed be.